sports betting brother and hey bring it up and thanks for stopping by my name is boyd and i'm a sports betting market analyst with odds jam and oddsjam.com we teach you how to bet like a sharp using the best data out there on the sports betting market now um, we're going to talk about BetMGM today. BetMGM is one of my favorite sports books. It's here in the Colorado market. We'll go over the markets that it's available and where you can get enrolled and get started. And if it's not in your area, I'm sure it's coming soon because BetMGM is one of the largest and best books, providing a lot of opportunities on a very frequent basis. So if you don't have an account there, I highly recommend it. I'm going to show you how to open up an account, how to get it funded, how to place some wagers, how to extract your cash once you win, which you will. And uh, we're going to move forward from there and kind of give you a tour of the site to set the expectations prior to you opening up your BetMGM account. So let's get started. Okay, sports better. So here we go. Here's the home page of the BetMGM Sportsbook. And they all look very, very similar, although you're going to see the Colorado uh, uh, logo here up in the upper left-hand corner. Now, the states that currently have BetMGM available, are you ready? Here we go. Michigan, Nevada, New Jersey, Iowa, West Virginia, Indiana, Tennessee, Colorado, Virginia, Pennsylvania, Mississippi, New York, Louisiana, and Arizona. Now, it's one of the top five sports books uh, across the uh, the broad reach of all the United States and uh, is already legal in, in a lot of them, but uh, many more to come. So we'll talk about all the sports and all the options here as we get into it. But you're going to go to the upper right-hand corner to register and log in. Now, you're going to fill out some very easy, simple information, and it's going to do a little geo-tracking on you, whether you're on your smartphone or whether you're on your laptop as I am now. So just be aware and be prepared for the expectation of acknowledging and verifying your um, geolocation so they can make sure that you're in one of those areas. And uh, that's the first step is getting registered. So you'll go through that process. And once you get an account, you can log in and we'll take you to the next step. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you get logged in, as you can see here, you'll have a deposit button in the upper right hand corner that uh, you can hit that button hit deposit because we're going to enter in some quick information on uh, how much you want to deposit or open the account with now along the same lines they have a lot of uh, great bonuses for opening up new accounts you want to make sure you take advantage of those we'll get to the promos button in a little bit later on but you can certainly just plug in your uh, debit card, Visa card, MasterCard, whatever the case is, several options, and, and then hit that button where it goes through a very secure uh, payment amount. You can certainly adjust the amount here. Let's say you want to put in, I don't know, 500 bucks, uh, maybe 200 bucks, whatever the case, you plug that in. Very simple, very easy to get that funded. So once that's open and funded, which is hap you know, going to happen immediately, you can go to the sports book that has uh, live game, uh, live wagering, live in-game wagering, which we'll hit here in a minute. Here's all the sports across the top. I always go top to bottom, left to right. And, of course, you're going to see the same things going down the left-hand side of the site of the sports book. Now, one thing you'll notice here are some, some promotions, some different promotions they have on a daily basis in all the sports markets. Right now we're in the middle of MLB. Uh, hockey just finished with the uh, NHL wrapping up and also NBA. So there's not as much going on in the summertime. Uh, but you have the MMA, maybe some other sports here with uh, some golf and, and things like that going on. But this is really be a busy space that you can quickly identify which sport you want to get into. So let's say we want to hop into baseball. And we're going to go through a basic, simple wager here uh, in MLB, in the, in the in baseball. And you can see a live game going on right now. This, this game is happening currently in the seventh inning with the Twins and, and uh, the Guardians. You could actually click on this game and go in and place a wager as the game is going on, so you have the, the main line wagers, you have some, in baseball, spreads is basically the, the run line. You have totals, you have lots of different options, whether it's first inning, fifth inning, full game, etc. And uh, lots of choices here as far as game props and game choices. But if you wanted to, to place a wager in game right now, you could bet on the uh, over total runs for the for Cleveland at plus 145, two and a half, or under two and a half at minus 190, and that'll place your odds, and you get the details of the game going on here in a live scenario. But let's just say you wanted to identify a game that was happening a little bit later on. You could pop back into the, uh, the schedule, the slate of games going on, and let's just go with my favorite Chicago Cubs here going up against the Reds later today. You can see the game time. This uh, one-game parlay is typically kind of a promo that you can hit, but you would click on the game and look at all the other wagers that you can get into with this Cincinnati and Chicago Cubs game going off today. So I uh, would like to point out again, all your other choices are up here that you can do alternative lines, alternative bets. But uh, let's just say that you want to get in on a basic, simple, fundamental wager 
and look at the money line bet. So let's uh, let's let's hit that real quick, and I'll show you how to place that wager and put it into our bet tracker. So let me go back to that real quick and uh, show you how that works. All right, so as I mentioned, we're going to do kind of a mainline wager. A mainline wager is basically the kind of the big three. You know, you have the point spread or the run line, which is basically in this case, if you took the Cubs minus one and a half, that means they'd have to win the game by two runs or more, but you would get paid the odds here of plus 140. If you took Cincinnati, they could actually lose the game by one run. Um, they could actually win the game outright, but you get minus 165 odds on that. So that's the run line scenario of how you would place it in MLB. The total here, kind of high, 10.5, but you can see right here on the under 10.5, if you thought the final score was going to be under 10.5 runs, you could place your wager here at minus 115. Now, let's say also you just wanted to go with the money line. Just pick a winner, don't care about how many runs they win by, what the score is, etc. And, of course, let's say you want to put some money on the Cubs. You're going to put it here at minus 130, and I'll explain what minus 130 means. So, actually, now it's asking me to continue with my location and privacy. So, as I mentioned, you're going to get that geo tracking and it's very common very normal to hit this download that again and uh, you'll be ready to go further to place your wages so let's do that this is kind of a live example of how that works we'll get that done and we'll show you how the uh, placing of the wager works next okay so here we go and actually this is kind of a nice example because you're going to see here if you place a straight bet on the cubs at minus 130 and you place fifty dollars you would win 8846 so you'd obviously get your fifty dollar original stake and you'd get thirty eight dollars and forty six cents is that the odds and the payout at minus one thirty so here's how you would start to structure your straight bets your parlay bets or even your round robin bets which is nice because later on you can hit my bets and uh, keep track of everything that you have during the course of the day because sometimes you play several wagers you start to lose track of uh, you know did I have the total in the Oakland game did I have the uh, the, you know, the the run line in the Dodgers game what did I do so this is a nice little button to hit on the my bets as it keeps track of all your wagers for you shows you the odds the payouts etc so uh, that's how you would place that make that uh, deposit to get that funded and of course you're ready to roll so that's how you would place the wager on a simple easy mlb game okay guys a couple of the features i want to point out you do have an inbox here with betmgm it's kind of nice because they send you some promos and some things you can keep track of uh, different messages and updates different contests different things that uh, keep it nice and easy to track and uh, identify where that information is here uh, of course you can always go back through and change things in your account make it very very easy there but um, as you scroll through here you see many many choices many many options many many sports there's live in-game wagering as i mentioned earlier and of course the last thing and most important thing is the ability to cash out and um, take advantage of um, getting your money sent right back to you typically very very quickly within a day or so uh, actually sometimes even same day if they've seen bet mgm very very quickly fund my account upon request and so you'll just simply go to the cashier and uh, do that and uh, they will process that and uh, communicate that update with you very very quickly so um, let's move on to the next piece of uh, features and uh, fun things you can use that mgm with the my account buttons where the fun stuff happens and over here is that cashier button where i mentioned you would come back here um, it'll show you the available balance withdrawal balance and a little bit of history so that is a very simple easy button to find sometimes the sports books make it a little bit difficult to find but uh, not bet mgm so once again uh, just kind of a quick simple tour of uh, the site and uh, you'll be able to navigate it very very easily on your phone i would recommend that as you get deeper into other alternative wagers alternative bets player props things like that that you take some time and get to know the site get to the, to the point where you can navigate it very very quickly and understand that if you go to a particular game and you click on that game it's going to open up all the options and all the wagers that are associated with that game so you can see even here some of the futures bets and and, and choices in the nfl as the nfl will be here before you know it and right around the corner which odds jam is going to be a beautiful tool to use to make money rinse repeat in the nfl as well as college football but again you can click on the game it's going to open up all the different choices all the different options and i just kind of want to show you from a thirty thousand foot view here how to navigate this site and uh, keep it simple but it does take a little bit of practice when you switch from your mobile to the laptop to other sports books etc but bet mgm is one that uh, we love to use i love to use and i uh, highly recommend you get started with it as soon as you can